<laughs> I swear to God, I will post this thing Watch like them. this. We enter you too. <laughs> voilà. <laughs> hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as you all know this is the channel where i cook take care of myself and my little uh, bird today's vlog is very wonderful because you know why i featured hobby in this in this vlog well i want to show you guys how i cooked my masala soup I first went to the market in the morning to grab some ingredients at the market though I didn't show where I was uh, getting the stuffs because you know how busy markets can be so I, when I returned I made abacha very delicious abacha it was very pepperish ah! and then this night I decided to make masala soup Mm, it won't be that much just for two people because we are only two in the house so now i'm returning the remaining yam into the garden where i used to keep them you have to make it a habit to always clean as you cook you wouldn't want sun to enter inside your food so you have to clean up i am trying to clean the space that i'll be using to cut and slice the yam that i will be using for the insala soup so now i am washing the yam you can see i want to wash it to make sure there is no sand in it and then i will cut slices into tiny pieces for it to be well cooked Because I want to cook the yam together with the meat, so I am going to bring out the meat out from the fridge so that uh, we cook both the yam and the meat together. It makes it easier for me. As you can see the meat is not that much because the soup is not really that much like I said before it's a small soup just for two add more ingredients if you want your soup to be uh, bigger than this and I bet you you will still get the same result so now I'm just going to season the meat with just salt and seasoning cube at this point i don't really need to add many things just the seasoning cube and the salt is okay So now I am slicing the yam into the into smaller pieces for it to be well cooked like I said before. I want to make it snappy faster so that I will go and rest because I am so exhausted. So super exhausted. So now I am transferring the yam into the pot and i'm going to allow it to cook very well very soft allow this to cook about 
20 minutes yeah it's okay so now what next is to grind this this a uh, water z water z seed and order they call this order and water z you can find this in any local market close by it is everywhere this is for cooking nsala soup like you can't cook nsala without this <laughs> this is what makes nsala what it is okay so you are going to blend them separately i said separately uh for you to get a better result because oza oda sorry because old oda has a strong back so you would like to blend it uh, differently for it to be well blended if you know what i mean so now this is the result this is order i have already blended i'm going to put it inside this plate and then repeat the same thing for the otter the seed is that otter the or ozaza seed ah these two things always confuse me please forgive me <laughs> So now they are ready and I'm going to keep them aside. Meanwhile, okay, let me return the machine, but I'm still going to bring it back. This is the tomato I got from the market with the pepper and this tatashi. But I'm going to use some of this pepper in this soup. I'm going to blend this tomato, keep it inside the fridge for for an easy access you know any day i want to use it it will be easier for me and i'm going to do the same for the pepper from this pepper i'm going to take out some for the soup i'll be using both fresh pepper and dry pepper for this recipe okay then here i have my um ozeza leaf Ozeza leaf. I'm going to wash it thoroughly to remove sand and stone. Make sure you remove the head. It has a tough head. You can see it. I am removing it. After this, I am going to wash it thoroughly and um, keep it ready. I'm going to blend this oh, this Ozeza leaf together with the yam. Yes. Anyway, you guys will still see the way I do it. So now I'm going to wash it well and uh, keep aside. The next is this uh, smoked fish. I use some in making the African salad. That is the abacha that I told you guys I made this afternoon. So that is the remaining one. I want to wash with uh, with salt and hot water. I I already have my hot water boiling and i want to bring out more salt because it's like i'm running out of salt so this is uh the hot water i'll be using to wash the the, the smoke fish and meanwhile our yam is ready at this point it is ready if you want to check if your yam is soft use your knife or any sharp object around you and uh, check if the yam is soft enough so at this point this, the yam is ready and i am scooping it out i want to blend it together with the uh, ozeza leaf so 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 this is what it looks like after you blend the yam and the hoses are left together at this point i'm going to pour it now inside the pot of meat
few minutes later this is how it is looking and i think this is the um this is the best time you introduce all the your other cooking stuff the ingredients it is the time you introduce them and all the pot okay first thing to be added is uh, the order and the the water the seed stay well now i'm adding some red pepper red grounded fresh pepper stay well again now i'm adding my crayfish grounded crayfish now seasoning cube remember you've added some seasoning cube while cooking the yam so mind uh, the quantity to be added this time then stir together stir well make sure that everything is well combined you have to test to know if uh, you will be added more salt or other um, seasoning stuff so I am going to add in this black pepper. You can call it Ghana pepper. Now, guys, this is Ogiri, the two Ogi that I used to know. Both Obenye, I used both Obenye and Ogiri AC in this recipe. So I'm adding it at this point now i'm adding in the smoked fish i washed this smoked fish with hot water so at this point it is soft very soft so you can add it now it's still okay it's very very okay check if the salt is okay adjust if it is not enough and then allow to cook well so guys, I've added everything into the pot. I'm going to cover now to cook. Thanks for joining me in making this wonderful pot of masala soup. Hmm, guys, trust me, this is so yummy. Use this procedure in making your masala soup and I bet you it will give you the same result. Not everybody is a fan of red meat, so you are free to use any meat of your choice. Chicken, turkey, etc okay okay guys shower time join me in the phase two of this vlog let's go
So guys, this is the night of baby. Stop spoiling my 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 show. How na day now? Night of movie. <laughs> one watch movie, one kind of horror movie like this. No mind that. My village girl. I will kick your ass. See 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 see. Let me watch you now. I'm watching. I you so you don't know that this thing is showing here. I will cut it soon. So guys, let's watch movie. Eh? See you guys next time. Moko watch movie. Bye. I will see you on a one time like this. See <laughs> later. Hey, wala. You don't chop belly food. Hey, wala. I've eaten. You don't chop belly food. Why they talk like this? If you're hungry, you don't they talk at all. Yes, who they talk when they're hungry? <laughs> bye bye. Later. <laughs>